What's up, good people? Christian Allaire here from Christian Allaire Yoga. Welcome to your YouTube channel for Power Yoga. Welcome to yet another video. I got a 30 minute practice for you today. Uh, it's an asana practice, our third limb on Patanjali's eight limb schema. So let's go ahead and get prepared, get your mat rolled out, get your blocks, get your strap, get whatever you get yoga gear you need, maybe some hydration, get that all set to go. And I will meet you on the mat in the pose of the child on the other side of this here intro. Boom, roll it. Moving into your child's pose, let's bring the knees to the floor and with them knees, mat width, toes to touch, big toes to touch. Start to settle into your posture, begin to breathe deeply and freely. Let the body absorb a little more oxygen by trying to access the air that is at the bottom third of the lungs. Remember, oxygen exchange takes place at the bottom third of the lungs, so you have to really breathe in through the nose and out through the nose in order to access the full capacity of your lungs. It's part of your pranayama practice. And just start softening a little deeper. Coordinating your mindset, preparing the mind for the next 30 minutes. Beginning to notice maybe the external noises that are around you. Just notice, try not to become attached or entangled in those noises. Each time you become distracted by something, bring your awareness right back to your breath. Just another couple of deep free inhales and exhales. Okay, we're gonna come up to all fours, tabletop pose. Spin your fingertips towards the wrists. I want us to start to warm up our wrists a little bit here. With the fingertips facing the knees, just start to rock back and forth a little bit. Your toes can be tucked or untucked, totally up to you. Sometimes I keep the toes tucked in order to just gently stretch into the arches of the feet. Okay, spin your fingertips to face back front. Now you're gonna bring the knees together, keep the toes tucked, and if they're not tucked, tuck them, and then sit the butt right onto the backs of the heels. Take the fingers, take your fingers, push your heels together, and then just sit a little bit of weight, a little bit of weight into the feet here. Take the arms up to the sky, breathe in. On the exhale, turn open to the right side. Just a gentle twist, gentle twist. Inhale back to the center, arms to the sky, breathe in. And a gentle twist opening to the left side, turn open. Back to the center, raise the arms up to the sky, breathe in. Exhale the hands to the floor, walk your hands out to the top of the mat. Feet together and a downward facing dog with the feet together. Just push through the feet here with the nice tight grip of the big toes together. Reaching up through the tailbone, you can even wag your tail a little bit. Okay, let's send your left leg up to the sky, open up your hip, make some circles with the knee and ankle joint. Let's move it around a little bit. Okay, you're gonna set your left foot down right next to the right toe. Big, big breath in, right leg sky, open up on the right side, just a little bit here. Circles, whatever you need to do. From this position, we're gonna move to ragdoll, top of the mat, right foot to the right thumb, left foot to the left thumb, Hands take the elbows, crown of the head towards the floor. Stay nice and static, or if you want to move a little dynamically to the side, sway. <sighs> Try 
Drop the right hand in front of the right toes, left arm to the sky. Twist open, right leg bends, left leg straightens out. If you want to intensify a little bit, left toes float. Turn your right eyeball to look at the left thumb. Breathe in, reach up. Exhale, forward fold, drop in. Other side, left hand down, right hand up, left leg bends, right leg straight. Look at your right thumb. Release, forward fold, drop in. Toe heel your feet together, big toes a touch, little gap between the heels, roll up to mountain pose. Take the arms above the head, reach up with a big intake of air. Exhale, forward fold, hands to the floor. Ragdoll pose again, split your feet. Capture your elbows, drop the crown towards the mat. Sway or stay. Right hand in front of right toes, left arm to the sky, twist. Change, left hand down, right hand up. Forward fold, exhale, toe heel feet together. Mountain pose, roll, arms sky, in breath. Exhale, forward fold, empty out. Here we're gonna do three halfway lifts. So take a deep breath in, flat back, breathe in. Exhale, fold, soften the knees, chin to the chest. Second flat back, breath in. Exhale, fold, chin to the chest, knees soft. Deep breath in on the inhale. On the exhale, top of a plank. Left foot back, right foot back. Really, maybe start to rock back and forth. Flexing, flexion through the wrists, belly to spine, crown forward, eye gaze, drishti towards the top edge of your mat. Take a full breath in, let's lower all the way down to the floor. And cobra pose, untuck the toes. Toenails to the floor, chest lifts up, eye gaze goes forward here a little bit. Keep pressing and extending through the toes. Chin to the mat, let go, let go, child's pose. Hips to the heels. Inhale, tabletop pose. Bone stacking, so wrists directly underneath shoulders. Knees underneath the hips here. I'm gonna turn to face the other direction. Let's extend out through your right leg. Right leg extends, left arm reaching forward. So we're gonna find a little balance pose here. Now take an inhale, lift up a little bit. Bring your left elbow to your right knee, hug it in. Then re-extend, re we're gonna go east to west. So left hand goes out, right foot goes out, okay? Re-extend towards the center. Second one, elbow to knee. Re-extend, east to west, bring it out. Re-extend, one more set, left to right. Re-extend, east to west. Re-extend, reverse dancer. Right hand, excuse me, left hand to right toes. Chin looks forward maybe, or you can look over the left shoulder. Totally up to you. So just kick through the right heel, relax your left shoulder. And release. Other side, right knee down, left hand down. Let's extend through the left hand. It's left foot rather, right hand extends. Breathe in, and let's round it out. Re-extend, east to west. Re-extend, round and dome. Re-extend, east to west. Re-extend, one more round. Round and dome. Re-extend, east to west. Back to center, and reverse dancers. Take the top of the foot. Root down through the left hand. Right knee, chin forward, or look over the shoulder. Release. Hands out in front, let's take a downward facing dog. Hips to the sky, begin to pedal at your feet. Move your dog around a little bit here. Should start to feel like you're building up a little bit of heat. Keep the breath through the nose, out the nose, so we can work on the internal Ujjayi style pranayama. Walk to the top of the mat. Big toes to touch. Halfway lift and lengthen in. Yogi bow. 
root to rise, mountain pose. Breathe in. Exhale, forward fold, breathe out. Chair pose, sit, squeeze, and lift. Rock the weight into the heels, flip the ten toes, spin the pinkies inward. Belly to spine, breathe in. Birdie pose, take it back. Stand up, twist to the right side. Right arm comes up and around, looking over the right shoulder. Back to birdie pose, sit, squeeze, reach. Other side, turn it open to the left. Back to the birdie pose, squat. Mountain pose, extend up, arch the spine backwards a little bit. Exhale, forward fold, breathe out. Inhale, lift and lengthen, high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. So first one we're gonna do a horizon lunge. I'll do it on the left side. So let's take your left leg up. Left foot to the left thumb. And now we wanna take our toes and spin them so they face towards the left side. See, I'm on the outer edge, the right, left toes, and the hip is sinking down. We call this horizon lunge. You reach your left arm towards the back of the mat, and then we'll come right back to the center, re-extend. Let's do two more, just like that. Horizon, turn it open. Bring it back to the front lunge. One more horizon lunge. And then we'll bring it back to the center. Set your left hand down to the floor. Step forward, right foot meets the left, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Mountain pose, rise. Forward fold. Chair pose. Birdie pose. Stand up, twisting open to the right side. Birdie pose. Stand it up, twisting to the left side. Back to birdie. Tadasana, arching backwards. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga flow. Flow into up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, breathe out. Send your right leg up to the sky, breathe in. Right foot forward, runner's lunge. Right arm extends, horizon lunge. Right arm sweeps out to the side. Let's hold here for a second. Feel the hips sinking down towards the floor. Feeling the hips opening up, reaching towards, right hand towards the back, and we'll come back to the front. Reach, horizon lunge, second one. Reach it forward. Third horizon. Reach it forward. Set your right hand down to the floor. Step it up. Left foot meets the right. Halfway up. Exhale, fold. Root to rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, birdie. Staff pose, right knee. Lift it up. Let's find your balance point here. And we're gonna take a twist open to the right. So left hand to the right knee. And a little reach towards the back. To really ground it to your left foot. Coming back to birdie pose, we'll take it down. Stand it up, staff pose, left knee. We'll make sure you're knee and left ankle. You don't want to pull it in. It's not kicking out. It's directly underneath. And let's move to the twist. Back to birdie. Left foot to the floor. Arcing Tadasana. Up and back. And let's flow up. Hands to the mat. Inhale. Halfway lift. Exhale. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Three breaths. Big 
breath in. Empty out. Right leg to the sky. Lift, breathe in. Knee to nose. Right leg sky. High lunge, right foot steps through. And we raise the arms up to the sky. It's a big breath in. Square it up to the front. So let's get into the knee, stack it, ribs knit forward, shoulder blades pull back, belly into the spine, strong in the back leg, beautiful work. Take a big breath in, keep your legs, power lunge. I'm gonna extend forward so the rib cage hovers right off the knee, knee stacks directly over ankle so you're pressuring down through the bones here. And we'll come to warrior two. Left heel spins flat. Front heel in line with back heel or front heel in line with the arch of your left foot. Extend out through the arms. Move to side angle lunge. You're gonna take your forearm to your thigh. Left arm extends over your ear. Turn your chest to face towards the left side. Stay powerful in your legs and reverse your warrior. Working with the upper torso here, feeling the side body stretch on the right side compression on the rib cage and we'll move into easy twists. So we take the left hand to the floor, make sure the left heel pivots right up off the floor. Extend up through the right arm. I call this easy twist. Now from here we're going to do something called rocket lunge. Reach your right arm behind you towards the front and in one little sweep we're bringing your arms out in front. So it's just like power lunge except the arms are in the warrior three position. Beautiful work. From here, left foot meets the right, and we're now in a nice little power squat here called birdie pose. Inhale, stand up to arcing Tadasana, breathe in. Exhale, forward fold, breathe out. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, left foot back, runner's lunge. Take your right leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Open up your hip, and then flip the dog. Take a dog flip. Press your hips up, nice and relaxed. Crack open the chest. You're here for three, two, low plank. Coming through and down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe out. Left leg sky, breathe in. Knee to chest, round and dome. High lunge, left foot through. Raise the arms. Big breath in, reach up. Exhale, power lunge. Extend back. Stay really firm in your legs, team. Belly to spine, three. Come up, warrior two, right heel spins flat, extend out through the left. Find that alignment. Back edge of the right foot is even with the outer edge. As you can, pull in, you're gonna tuck up. If you want duck butt, you wanna keep pulling in. Pull the shoulders back so you're nice and low. Side angle flow, forearm to thigh, arm up. You can take your arm over as well. Keep the legs, reverse the warrior dance, it up and back. Now from here we move into the easy twist. Right hand down, left arm sky. Okay, it's gonna be rocket lunge, but first take your left hand towards the back of the mat and then sweep it forward, both arms. Rocket lunge. Birdie pose, right foot meets the left, squat. Arcing Tadasana, take it up, breathe in, go back. Exhale, forward fold, breath out. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, right foot back, runners lunge. To three-legged dog, to flip dog, or the wild thing. Release, low plank. 
Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, down dog, breathe out. Now in three, we're gonna try to float. Catch as much air as we can into yogi squat. Rise to the toes, bend the knees, look where you're going, float it up, land in the yogi squat. Beautiful work. Palms touch, press the knees away, let's lift the heart. Let's take the hands to the floor, lift the hips up to the sky, toe heel the feet together, halfway lift and lengthen, curl into a tiny ball. So the heels come up, hands are to the floor, and we're nice and nice, really tuck, sit position, tiny, tiny ball. And then from here, we'll just roll onto our back, bring the knees into the chest, squeeze it in. Wrap the arms maybe in front of the shins. If you got cattywampus on your mat, readjust for sure. Okay, gang, stretch your feet out in front of you, like so. Cross the right ankle over the left. So you're in Shavasana now with the right foot crossed over the left. Interlace the hands behind the skull. And then 10 times, we're gonna really extend, we're pulling against the ankles here to engage the core. And from that anchor point, we pulse the chest up, we do it 10 times. Begin, one, lift up as high as you can. Two, three, it's on the out breath. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. We're gonna do the same thing, but you're gonna bring your knee in. One, and extend, two, Extend, three, extend, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Re-extend your right foot, cross the left ankle over the right. Ten times. Now pulse it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Left knee in. Ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Knees to chest. Squeeze in. Nicely done. the feet to the floor, their knees are bent. Bridge pose, fingers to the heels. Walk your hips towards the heels. Interlace the hands underneath your body, palm to palm grip. Really press upward. Root and charge through the feet, opening up the shoulders and the chest. Stay here, or bring your hands alongside your ears. Press up into full wheel. Stay for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, stay with me, three, two, one, tuck the chin, come on down, let your knees touch and your feet be wide, and let the knees go side, to side. Side to side. Grab the backs of your knees. Start to rock and roll back and forth on the spine. Let's make your way to downward facing dog. Move through a vinyasa, please. Plant the hands, chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing. Exhale. Down dog. Right leg to the sky. Breathe in. Half 
pigeon. Right knee to right wrist. Let's take a look over the left shoulder to ensure that the heels are lined up with the left hip. You want to square off as best you can and make your way down. Not too long in this pigeon pose, so get right into it. Into the breath, find the alignment, find the shape as best you can, and let the magic of the pose do the work. You don't do the work necessarily, the body gets in that shape and then the shape just does it. The option is to come up on the hands and draw the left heel in to work into the quadriceps. If you have king pigeon, it's totally fine. We're made. Since this is a 30 minute class, just another minute or two here. Oh, excuse me, another second or two. All right, team, we're gonna release. Let's take it right back to down dog. Send your right leg to the sky. Ankle, knee, move it around. Get some blood flow right back into where we had that tourniquet effect. And we'll take the right foot to the floor, send the left leg to the sky, stretch it out, send it forward, half pigeon left side. you have the mermaid, bring it up. Okay, we will not be taking it back to down dog. I'd just like you to release. I want you to swing over onto your left hip. Let's bring both feet out in front of you, setting up for Pashimota. We're gonna move into that seated forward fold. Flex the, flex the toes towards the face. Arrange the shoulders right on top of the hips. Send the arms up, big breath in. Flat back, fold in. Walk your hips back a little bit more. Heels forward. Take your time, let's do a halfway lift and length. Breath in, exhale, fold. Release, coming back up. Make your way onto your back for happy baby. Send the feet up to the sky. You can capture the insides or the outsides of the feet. Your call. Back of the head to the floor, tailbone pressing forward. Feeling the flattening of the spine. Send your left foot forward, hug the right knee in. Make sure that your knee comes outside rib cage and then in towards the armpit. And we bring both elbows in towards rib cage. It's an active pose, kicking through the left heel, hugging in through the right knee. Bring your right knee across for supine twist. Eye gaze shifts to the right, shoulder blades to the mat. No need to jam your right knee down, just let it go where it's gonna go. You should be moving into the relaxation phase big time here.
Release coming to the center. Take both knees into the chest. Wrap right. your arms in front of the shins. Squeeze in, back of the head to the floor, and then press the hips forward. Send your right leg forward, left knee hugs in. One more deep squeeze of the knee in. Then roll it over. Left knee across. One more, squeeze the knees in. And our final rest, two choices, Shavasana, traditional, or Bhattakanasana, soles of the feet to touch. One hand to the belly, and one hand to the heart. If you are in Supta Baddha Konasana, bring the hands to the outsides of the knees and let's close the knees together like a book. If you're in Shavasana, start to rock your chin from side to side. And let's all bring the knees into the chest, squeeze in. Roll to the side body. And let's join each other in a comfortable seated position. Whatever campfire style is suitable. Padmasana, full lotus. Whatever you have is totally fine. Close the eyes, bring the palms to touch. At the center of your chest, dip the chin down. Together, take a deep inhale. And exhale. One more time, inhale. And empty out. And gently open up your eyes. Thank you so very much for joining me today on your YouTube channel for Power Yoga. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. I love hearing from you, the comments and the likes and, and the messaging that I get and then the people that continue to give me Venmo donations to support this channel. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. I hope you have an awesome day and I will see you on the next video. Have a great rest of your day. Namaste.